Iaido, Judo, Karate Do, Aikido, Kendo, Sado. Wait, how many are there? Minasan, konnichiwa, and welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. In this channel, I, Shogo, would like to introduce various topics like Japanese culture, facts about Kyoto, and trending news articles. Learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, this is the channel for your one step deeper. And today, I'm going to be talking about this topic. Japanese traditional culture all have a do on the end, but what is do? And how many are there? And what's the difference between do and jutsu? I'd love to answer these questions today. Do means path or way in Japanese. The concept originally comes from Taoism, which is one of the three major ancient Chinese religions started by Lao Tse in the 6th century BC. In Taoism, Do stands for true nature and the way of life towards seeking it. It's a very difficult idea. So simply explained, the goal of all Japanese culture that has Do on the end is to continuously seek for ultimate strength and beauty. There is no goal, there is no end. The attitude towards endlessly seeking perfection itself is the purpose of the path. You constantly desire for ultimate strength and beauty, but you never reach it, and achieving it is not your goal. So then, how many dos are there? Karate do, judo, kendo, aikido are famous all around the world, but there are actually at least 10 more in Japan. Let me introduce them to you quickly. Iaido, the martial art that uses katanas. You train by yourself through fixed sword movements called katas. Batodo, the martial art that derived from Iaido. Unlike Iaido, you actually cut objects to train, like rolled up tatami mat surfaces called gozamats. Naginata do. Naginata is the Japanese spear, and this is the martial art that trains to use it. Armor like kendo is worn while fighting. Kudo, Japanese archery. Japanese bows are about 221 centimeters and much larger than Western bows that are about 160 centimeters average. Jodo, not judo, the Japanese martial art that uses a rod that's about 128 centimeters long. Taido, a relatively new martial art founded in 1965 that derived from karate. Sado, what is called tea ceremony in English. But actually, this translation is imperfect because the ceremony itself is actually just a part of Sado. Kado, Japanese flower arrangements. Aesthetics of subtraction is the theme in Kado. Kodo, the study of Japanese incense. In Kodo, they say they listen to the incense and not smell them. Shodo, Japanese calligraphy. From the thin small brushes, there are huge brushes that are about human size. And by the way, Shintoism is called Shinto, Yakuza is called Gokudo, and there's also the famous Bushido as well. Now that you know what Do is about, some of you may be wondering, what's Jutsu then? You know, like Judo, Jujutsu, Kendo, Kenjutsu. Jutsu means skill. So unlike Do, the purpose is not training your mind or fighting your inner demons. It's literally about learning the skills to kill someone. Until the Meiji era, Japanese martial arts were all called Jutsu and were trained by samurais. But when the Meiji era started and westernization happened, samurais were abolished and strong firearms came into Japan. So there was no one to continue training the martial arts and each headmaster was desperate to protect the culture. As a result, they changed the names from Jutsu to Do because they needed to spread the culture among commoners and the purpose of killing was no longer needed due to the introduction of guns. Eventually, the idea of Do became a kind of virtue in Japan, and art culture like tea ceremonies and flower arrangements were named Sado and Kado, with Do on their names too. 
So, today's conclusion. Do means path or way in Japanese. And the goal of every Do culture is to continuously seek perfection. Just counting the famous ones, there are about 14 different Do cultures that still exist today. And Jutsu, on the other hand, means skill. So it is literally the way of killing the opponent. And most Jutsu became Do during the major restoration to preserve the culture. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And my goal is to achieve 10,000 subscribers in a year. So your help would mean a lot. Thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.